Hi, and welcome to another Lure Fishing for Rass UK video. Um, well, today I'm talking about my bag. Um, so this is now probably version four or five um, bags that I've used for my wrasse fishing here in the UK. Um, I'll come on to this one in just a minute, but I'll show you first of all why I've changed over. Um, so this is my old bag, and as you can see there, it gets corrosion. Um, the zippers corrode as well, and you can get, uh, where is it, it's there. You can get white corrosion of the zips, and they sort of lock up. So you just got to pull and pull and pull, and eventually they do open up. Um, although this has been a good bag, I can't remember how much it was, um, but the, the zips are going. Despite the fact of um, regularly squirting them with silicon oil and WD-40, that kind of thing, they do go. That bag was about 15 quid. Um, so this is the Savage Gear system box bag, a small one. Um, the big thing and main reason why I went for this bag is that these zippers, the actual pullers themselves, if you can see it, they're all plastic, so they can't corrode. All the zips are plastic or nylon or something like that, so they can't corrode, which is great. So let's just go through the bag. Um, let me explain the monkey in the room first of all. Um, my pliers, they do have on the side there somewhere to put your pliers or scissors or whatever. Now, these are the Savage Gear scissors pliers split ring pliers as you can see they are rusted to hell and they're shit don't buy them in my opinion they're about the only thing that will go in there and even then i don't know how well you can see the flap won't cover properly so that's a bit of a waste of space they definitely are avoid them um so anyway let's go into it so what have we got um, we're going to this pocket first of all we looked on this one so i always um, pre-rig all my Let's uh, my traces. So in here, I've got my rigs with size one, um, size one o, and then two o. I think there's a, might even be a three o rig in there as well already. So and there's a video. If you have a look on the um, channel's videos, you'll see a video of um, how I make those up. Um, then I keep my uh, boomerang line cutter in there. There is unfortunately just one D ring on this bag, which is which is there, which is a shame. It'd be nice if there were more still. Um, front pocket, what do we keep in the front pocket? So, set of scales for being optimistic. Um, my leads. So, I carry um, predominantly, I use uh, 12 gram leads. I have got for the occasional use some 20 grams. Um, you've seen a video of the uh, Jika rig that I've done using RZ bombs and breakaway mini clips. So, that's a useful thing to watch if you haven't seen it. There's some um, bobber stoppers or line stoppers whatever you want to call them the old, a few swivels beads um and believe it or not bells sometimes a bell a tiny little bell let me just get one out and show you they are tiny little things they hardly make a noise at all but they do um and they can make a difference sometimes believe it or not you know, I know it's strange but um so what else there just happens to be a spare packet of hooks in there i've got hooks further up so we'll see those in a minute um, I carry a jig as well, you never know, you might see um, something that might not actually want to take a soft plastic, but might take a metal jig. Um, a hook sharpener, and a line puller to, if you do get snagged, it saves uh, any strain going on the, on the actual wheel. So let's just get that back in there. On this end, there's nothing actually in there at the moment, but what I put in there, I, I keep my car keys in a waterproof box and they go in there, so that's that sort of thing. Um, they do have a bungee cord system thing on the top there, so you can put a drink or a coat or something like that. In my case, I've got the pliers, so these are the pen ball nose pliers. Yet again, there's a video review of those on the channel. They're pretty good, I really like those. But time will tell, obviously. So, in the top, um, at the very, very top here, we have some leader material. Then I've got a bottom, I'm not really bother getting them out to show you. Um, then there's a box of various hooks. I carry um, size 2, size 1, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, and 4 0 in there. And there's one other thing here that I can't think of. What it, oh, yes, silicon stoppers. Um, the silicon stoppers, I use these for um, Z Man. Yet again, you'll see there's a, a video about these on the uh, group's channel. 
So the boxes, and it's called a system box bag. So they come with three boxes like that. Um, they are exactly the same as the Hobbycraft boxes, possibly yeah, exactly the same as Hobbycraft boxes. Um, and I haven't bothered using these yet because I've already got the Hobbycraft one, so I don't quite need them. So there are three of those. They also come with three of these. Uh, so these are I'm just sort of like a Ziploc bag. You can put bits and pieces in. Haven't had a need to use these yet. So whether I ever will or not, I don't know. Um, then boxes with lures in. I'm not going to go into the lures that I've got because um, there, there is a separate video all about those, but uh, that is they. So that's my first box of shads and grubs. The next box I take with me is creatures. Um, all sorts of creatures and tubes as well. Not many tubes, but uh, there are a few in there. Um, then at the front we have Oddments. So in here I've got uh, some worms, some different colour shads, more uh, worms and sticks. Um, Z-Mans, um, yet again some some newer worms that I've uh, only just got from AGM. Now these look pretty good actually, they should displace an awful lot of movement. They're four and a half inches long, just slightly longer than I wanted, um, but I'm sure they'll work fine. Um, those are from AliExpress. Some can tell worms, uh, the ones that just threw themselves on the floor, I'll just get those for you. Or just a couple of um, Savage Gear Reaction Crayfish, and finally some Moloch's um, Sligozos, if that's the correct way to describe them, and the very last one, I think, uh, might be another one, um, are some more um, tubes. These are AGM tubes um, in sort of Christmas tree colour, and finally. Um, some fairly realistic looking prawns. Just get that out of there. So um, I do like the bag. Um, I found it very good so far, despite the fact of not using it. Um, it meets my needs. I can get in there what I need. I don't have to take too much. The last bag, I could have actually put more and more and more stuff in there. Um, this bag does have um, a Velcro fastening at the top and a loop at the bottom for you to put a rod in. I'll never use that. I will be cutting that off at some stage. It's got a plastic bottom, so it should be nice and waterproof. One thing, oh, the, the strap, yeah, we'll talk about the strap. Um, yes, it's got a nice padded shoulder strap on it, but you can't actually take the strap off. But there's no um, access points to it. So it would have been nice if I could actually put my pliers on here, but I don't have an option, so the cable tied to the top there. So this is the Savage Gear um, System box bag small, I think that's its full term. Um, in the UK, they're about 32 to 35 pounds, something like that. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them below. And please do, do like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye now.